Oh, surprise. Biden's debt relief canceled. Well, fuck you too, Boomer. Look at assisted living and look at nothing. That money ain't worth shit because you ain't getting shit, bitch. You ain't getting shit. You fucked up this time. You fucked up, not me. And I'm, I've been holding on my whole life. You don't know how to hold on like I do. You're going to get dementia. You're going to need help soon. Trudy Duarte, Herzog. You need, yeah, you need some help. You need some serious mental help. You always have. I told you. I told my mom. She came back. She went, I apologize to Trudy. I said, why? I wanted that bitch out of our lives. I didn't say bitch back then. I wasn't allowed to. Now I am. God, she's nuts. She actually, okay, I walked out one day and I'm like, what's up with all these goddamn red cars? Like everyone had a red car. And then I played Whiter Shade of Pale, if you watch me on here. Then suddenly everyone has white cars. She's working off a car lot because she's not moving product. You're not moving product, Trudy. Don't you dare grandstand. You got nothing to fucking stand on. Just like Tom Turner. Look, have you visited Tom Turner? He's staying with a woman just like your mom. She's trying to get out. She's trying to get out every time. And so I turned around after visiting them and giving those sweethearts blankets. And I turned around and I said, I can't get out. I can't get out. I'm stuck here with you guys. I can't get out. How's that for Jack Nicholson, bitch? Fuck you. Fuck Cher. Fuck your hooker goddamn daughter, Kim. Fuck goddamn Madonna. Where, where are your bitches going to go? Assisted living. What if you need actual medical care like my mom did? And I was forced and tied to her for two years. And then you have the fucking gall to turn around and attack me and take away student debt forgiveness for, the, for everybody. I already knew they would. I knew Bernie Sanders was a big Jew lie. Denmark is not a socialist country. That was my argument. I said, here, here were my solutions, Trump. Build a wall around Oregon if you want socialist medical care. Don't let the Californians, Texans, and other motherfuckers in because they are extremely aggressive and they will ruin this little peaceful nirvana you have and this concept of Denmark, and it's gone. And I was right. So you build a wall south of the border using black people, there are 40 million black people on the East Coast. There are 50 million Latinos. Do your fucking math. On the West Coast, there are only 2 million African Americans on the West Coast. And if you feel like a minority, guess what? I do too. I'm Slovene and French, and I was never a slave owner, and I'm not your master. But boy, Gail Chips was. She works with the Mormon church, don't you? Now go and look at the demographics of Utah. They're all British. So any black pe any if your black woman is saying she wants to move to Utah, would you just slap her? Just bring slapping back in. Of course, she'll probably call child services or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, I want to move to Utah. Back to my slave owners and my husband slap me. Jesus fucking Christ. You guys got some gall, but um. We're not all your slaves, and you're too old to fucking run your farm, dick. That was my point. You're too old. Biden's too fucking old to run a goddamn presidency. Kamala Harris, you, you're laughing nervously. I don't want your fucking job. The last time I heard a woman laugh, ner laugh that nervously, everyone hated her guts. But I got her job, and it turns out I had a girl named Shauna. Oh, Shauna. I like Shauna. Oh, Shauna. She's the woman that got up on stage and kicked the shit. Only a woman can do this, by the way. She allegedly, and she did, because my other friend, alleged friend. Oh, God. Is that really your name? Amber Cunningham? Are you from Happy Days? Anyways, her dad's allegedly a biker. Hells Angels. Great. But you women lie all the time and make shit up for street cred. So do I. I did that walking home. Now I'm paying $10,000 over here to a cop because a cop took what I said to a homeless person and broke a light next door and then is trying to pin it on me. So thank you, ladies, for the fact that you can use street cred, but I can't as an effeminate male. I ain't got no muscle walking home by myself. Thank you. Anyways, Amber Cunningham, back the story. Shauna got up on stage. Shauna's a girl I worked with at Wells Fargo before it became First Interstate Bank in 1994. She got up on stage and kicked the shit out of Peter Murphy from 
Bauhaus, allegedly. She was a big fan of Nirvana and the whole grunge movement coming down from Seattle. Like, I even give a shit anymore. Boy, was that about not selling us all out with Frasier. Do you girls ever sit down and watch, um, oh, what's the new one? Oh, Boys Halfway House. It's just so it's, it's, um, not, it's not prostitution if you film it and it's porn, right? We gotta change that law. We gotta change some laws that Brits and fucking Jews are abusing around here. And get, kick Soros out. This is bullshit. You took debt forgiveness away from people. You're just basically killing the kids. What are you going to do? Just bring more Chinese immigrants in, more Indian immigrants in with the money from the tech boom that you planted? What are you going to do, Biden? So Kamala Harris is laughing nervously. When I worked at Wells Fargo First Interstate Bank, there was a girl, an Asian girl who wanted to date a cowboy. We all laughed at her. She had yellow teeth. She had yellow teeth, but she didn't smoke. Now, what's up with that? Bitch, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth and don't use bleach, please. Anyways, she did have slightly yellow teeth. When she smiled, I remember that. And I think her name was not, I can't, I can't, could not have known two Stephanies unless Chinese people are not that original. I guess I could know two Stephanies. Maybe they were both plants. Later, Brian Evans, Bruce Evans, there is a guy named Brian Evans still online. Tiniest dick you ever saw. I, went, I dated him, um, unfortunately. Anyways, those bitches are trying to get back at me and screwed up my goddamn master's program. Meanwhile, I got Trudy Duarte doing weird shit using, anyways, that, that did happen, where all the cars went red in Salem. They're using, they're not, she's not pushing product. Then they went white when I did whiter shit to pale online. She's trying to drive me insane. SOB's the name. They opened a bar called SOB. That's, that was the name given to me by my mother and my aunt, because they're both horrible women, and they fucking can't prioritize their time. Not my issue. And they eat like pigs. So, of course, the cops love them, right? Making shit up. Anyways, it's true. Shauna, who I love, told me not to take that job. So I don't want it, Kamala Harris. And you laugh nervously like, Stephanie, it's going to be a shit. It's going to kill you. And you can't get out of it once you're in it, if you get that job. Which I don't even know if I want you, but we need younger blood, is my point. We need younger blood in presidency. Because these fucking people with Alzheimer's, like Dick running his goddamn farm, he's actually just enslaved Latinos under this wall he built using Trump, using gay marriage, and getting, getting Trumpers all upset. Who are now, by Trumpers, you're all going to assisted living. Only you probably need actual medical care, but no one gives a fuck. Please watch that special. People with Alzheimer's crawling out windows and falling to their death. Women freezing in the cold with Alzheimer's. Merry Christmas. And fuck you for taking away debt forgiveness.